Hi everybody, this is Penny. I'm here today with a, a design team share for Cut at Home. I want to share some great new products that are in the store and available for you and one that's on a pre-order. I will talk about that in a minute. First thing up is this Spellbinders, a new die called Card Creator. It's called Victorian Arch and I just loved it when I saw it. It is actually two dies. You get the outer die that cuts this piece and you can see here the edge around there the edge around the outside you have to have that in order to cut this piece if you wanted this just as a decorative on um, a paper somewhere you could do that without it now I used just the one die for this part and then I used the second die in the middle to create the um, the decorative part and I wanted to here put that in so you can see but now isn't that just stunning so so pretty I used on this one I used the graphic 45 artisan style and I'm gonna make a card out of it I don't know what I'm gonna make yet but I wanted you to see this in several different designer papers so you can see what it would look like I backed mine by cutting out just the outside portion this because I wanted it to pop off the page and I was afraid if you didn't have something there it might just kind of get lost so I cut it in the solid in the orange to go with that and now let's see the that was the artisan style the next one I tried it with was the graphic 45 uh, gilded lily isn't this pretty see what a different look you get just now depending on what paper you use again I backed it but this time I backed it with a pink floral against the blue and now can you see all of this embossing here? So, so pretty. Now with this one, I decided I had just little scraps and pieces left. So I took this Heartfelt Creations, the Blazing Poppy die that I showed you last week, and I cut some flowers. So when I make this card, I'm going to incorporate these flowers into it. Now one other thing that I cut, and it will show up on the cards that I do, that you just see the still photos are, uh, Sizzix, uh, Tim Holtz has a thin lip set it's called Friend. And I cut them all out so you could see in black. And I ran them through my Xyron sticker machine. But you can see how neat they are. Here's one that says Genuine, Forever, Friend, Moment wonderful wow um, smile together hello now these look wonky but it's just because of the way I I ran them through my machine I can pull them together and and uh, make them line up the way they're supposed to but I'm gonna use this not on the card that I'm gonna show you today that I'm making but on some of the others in the still photos so you can see so let's get rid of this stuff out of the way I did want to share that I used the uh, Angel Craft Page, the semi-gloss. I love this stuff. And I also wanted to share, where is it here? Um, I have these fine line applicators, you know I've told you about them. And I put some of the Angel Craft Page in that. And I'll be using it on a project next week with the uh, Rare Oddities. Sneak peek, it's going to be a mini. Anyway, this works great, except you have to really be careful because it, it's so um, like water. It comes out very quickly, but it does work great doing it that way. I also am going to use the Spellbinders Celebration Berry Black. I am totally in love, love, love with the Spellbinders ink. And the craft tape, um, the angel craft tape in the quarter and the half inch. Now on the card that I'm going to fast forward and make with you today, I'm going to be using the Stampers Anonymous, the Just Thought, this stamp and this stamp. And I'm going to be using what I have been hoarding of the steampunk debutante because this was one of the very first graphic 45 
um, sets that I got and now it is back out in the collector edition and what that means you not only get the 12 by 12 papers you get some chipboard you get some stickers you get some all kinds of neat things in the one package and it is on a pre-order basis now and I'll leave the link to that so you can order it as soon as it comes in they will ship it to you that's what we're going to be using for our card today I am going to use craft card stock like this. I think I got it at um, Michael's. The card that we're making is a 5x7 um, and I'm just going to shut the sound off and put this together and you can see what I came up with. Love, love, love this paper line. I am so glad it's back. Okay everybody, have fun, enjoy. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, and comment today. Bye everyone. I decided maybe I would come back and walk you through what I was doing here. I pre-cut all of my pieces um, to make the card today so it goes a little bit faster for you. This is a 5 by 7 inch card. You take a piece 10 by 7, score in the middle at 5 and fold in the half. I corner chompered the uh, edges with a half inch corner chomper and my black mat and the decorative mat that goes on the top. The decorative mat is cut from the uh, steampunk debutante and the corners have been chomped with the um, Martha Stewart deco fan corner punch. I just love that punch and I thought it really added to this. I had this little piece that I cut from the paper and backed again with black but I couldn't find any place it fit on the card so I decided I would put it on the back like I've shown you before I'm just trying to find the middle here and then I'm going to put my initials around it and the date as I've said be sure when you make your cards to always sign the back and date them in whatever style fits you I have some friends that have some really great stamps for the back of their cards I'm gonna to have to get me one of those now we'll go back and we'll work on the front. Here's my fan and the decorative piece. That's also some of the um, artisan um, paper. I think that's from the 6x6 pad. Here's um, artisan style. That's from, I think, yes, artisan style, the, the stripe there. This is from the Stampers Anonymous um, Just Thoughts stamp set. And I just inked the edges with black. I'm just here placing things all around, trying to figure out where I want to put them. Do I want to have my arch straight across my card? Do I want to um, turn it to the side? How do I want to do it? And this is what, when you make cards, this is the whole process. Get everything together you think you might want to put on the card. And then just start playing. Put the placement how, how you think. Keep moving it until it looks right to you and you're happy with it. Because basically you're the one you have to please. If you're not happy, uh, you're not going to think anybody else in. Although that's usually not the truth. But still, that's how as crafters we are. If we're not happy with what we create, then we just don't think anybody else can. So keep playing until you have everything exactly where you want it. And then glue it down. I'm using Scotch quick dry adhesive. I have it in that fine line um, nozzle adapter. I got those. You can get them from Amazon. Just making sure I have enough glue in all the little tiny spots on this to hold it in place. I finally decided I was just going to place it right directly over the black mat. But I like cutting the black mat. That gives it something to really pop off the page. Otherwise I think you kind of lose it with that those yellow cogs and wheels behind it. Now I'm going to use some foam tape. This is just this is a large roll, but you can buy it on little rolls at your local craft store. And this is 3M foam tape. And I'm going to put that on the on the back of my um, corset here. I just kind of wanted it to pop up along the side. The lady with the corset, excuse me. Now in the still photos you'll see I added Wink of Stella to her corset. A couple of layers of it so it's really kind of shimmery. And then I added three seed pearls to the top of the corset that make it look like buttons. And you can see I fussy cut her, then I fussy cut her, glued her to black, and fussy cut her again so she would pop. These are just some little stamps that I have laying here from the... Um, uh, steampunk debutante paper. I used my um, 
stamp scissors to go around the edge so they have that um, stamp look to them. I'm going to glue them down in that edge and then I'm going to go back around and the part that I had already corner chomped previously, I'm going to just use my scissors and trim around that edge so it creates the corner again. Now we're going to put the saying on it and you'll see uh, it's a little bit too big. It doesn't want to go so I'm just going to snip it off. And if it looks crooked to you as you watch it, yeah, it was crooked. I did catch that off camera and fixed it so that somebody won't be getting it that way. I'm just going to tuck it behind her and it says learn to pause or nothing worthwhile will catch up to you. I think this is just a neat funky card. I love it. And then I also have, um, I'm looking for a little hat. There it is. It's a top hat and I use the semi-page on it several layers to give it a little bit of sheen. I split it right there so I could slip it over the corner of my um, saying. By the way, I stamped that saying with that very black on craft card stock. And here's my little leg. I just think this is... <laughs> so cute and the reason I'm having a little bit of difficulty is the lower portion of the leg is really off the paper when I trimmed it so I need to cut that part off and I'm trying to figure out where I can place it so that I can trim that bottom lower edge and I think that's about it right there so I glue it and then I glue it again and trim the edge and then I'm just going to use my ink to ink up that little part that I cut off. There we go. Isn't she cute? Now for the inside, I have three pieces of paper that I've glued together to form this one mat, just from scraps that I had. I've inked the edges. I corner rounded these with a quarter inch corner rounder. And again, I'm doing the same thing here, just kind of playing with the things I have. I wanted to use the little lady that's sitting there on my desk. I wanted to use her so bad, but I just couldn't figure out. She just I wanted the angel wings uh, on the mannequin to be on the left hand side and there I just couldn't get it to work because when you put things in you should have them so that they're facing inward so it draws your eye to the inside of your whatever you're creating and the wings to me look like to be facing inward they had to be on the left hand side so that eliminated that little fussy cut lady but I had a bunch of other pieces I fussy cut from the paper too that steampunk debutante and I meant to show you and I'd forgotten about it I put the tape on the wrong side and you'll see in a minute I really should have moved that mat down further but it's okay all things work out in the end you just have to keep playing with them the um mannequin with the wings. I fussy cut her, backed her on black, and then fussy cut her again. I just think things pop so much better when they have that black little small border around them. This is half inch angel craft tape that I'm using here. And as you can see, since I've been back from vacation, I now have no longer have fingernails. They are long gone with the glue and the files and whatnot. They went by the wayside. I think I'm going to try that one more time, but Sorry, Patty, just doesn't work on this one. And then I have this little piece of scrap that I folded in half, and I put the saying on it, it's not who you are that holds you back, it's who you think you're not. And I'm just trying to figure out where to place it. This is when I realized, geez, I should have moved that down. I wonder if I can lift it all up and move it down. Well, as you're gasping and moaning and saying, no, you're going to ruin the whole card, it, I soon figured that out myself. So I glued it down, and it does work. It's just a little tight, tighter a fit. So there we are, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. I'll have a couple other samples for you in the still photos, so stay tuned. Bye-bye now.